right, everybody, Lance Russell along with Dave Brown and Corey Macklin, and we are ready, as usual, for a great Saturday morning. Dave. Boy, I tell you what, we've got just all kind of things here going on today. We've got, uh, well, we've got some, some news that we're going to be telling you about, but uh, we've got... Uh a good big, news, not good news, but we've got a big eight-man tag team match, which is scheduled a little bit later on. The uh, brand-new tag team champions, I don't know if some fans know this or not, but Mephisto and Dante are the tag team That's champions. True. They are going to be teaming with the Eliminators going against PG-13, Coco Ware, and Doug Basham in our eight-man main event coming up. In addition to that, we're going to be having the King back here on television in the ring. It's been a long time. Jerry's uh, had to be away of great deal and we haven't had him here absolutely he will be here also we will be uh looking at uh, sid vicious uh, again today sid is uh, in the neighborhood and uh some big news involving buddy landell now last week landell came out i think uh, you were talking to him and 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 uh, buddy says i'm a change man well he revealed his true colors this week and yeah he went from bad to worse is what he did yeah i'd like to say a few Lance, you and Dave and all the fans are aware that last week I wasn't here. Randy Hill was taking my place. He was mm. working on my behalf. And some things happened here last week. I reviewed the film, and I've seen it, and all the fans. But in case the people hadn't seen it, I want to show that piece of tape. Okay, if we've got it, let's see if we can get it. What happened last week with Randy Hales? Have we got that? Oh, yeah, no, hey, no, no, hey, come on, now, quit that stuff. You got, will you get off of it? Come on, get Doug. Out of my way, will you stop this stuff? All right, Scott, quit that. Come on, guys, we don't change the company not to mess with us. We did take the rules in the USWA around right here, baby. Let him go, Tommy, and let him get up from there. Okay. Doug Gilbert down there with a pair of scissors cutting the hair of Randy Hales, holding him down. You think that's going to get you out of that contract? No, I don't want to get it either, but he certainly doesn't deserve it. Why don't you save it for the ring? Fair styling by Doug Gilbert. How about that, Lance Russell? Yeah, fine, great. I hope that makes you feel really big. Can we get some help out here to get this guy? Good night. Mm, makes my blood boil just seeing it again. Mine too, and I want Doug Gilbert and all the wrestlers that's back in the back watch this piece of film. I want them to know that Randy Hill was working in my place, and regardless of whose place he is working with, Randy Hills is one of the officials of the USWA, and we've said time and time again that the wrestlers would not put their hands on the referees or any of the officials. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm like you. It made my blood boil, too. And I decided, Doug Gilbert, you're not going to get away with it. The next five matches that you have, regardless of who they're with, whether it's a single match or a tag match, your hair will be at stake. If you get pinned, your head will be shaved in the middle of the ring. We're not going to put up with this kind of stuff. And I hope all the wrestlers let this be an example to them to not... To and, if, and, and what you're saying is that for the next five matches, yeah, he's going to have to no, think about it every time. No, anymore. You can say no all you no, want to. No. Hey. Going to I don't care whether it's a single match or it's a tag match. I don't care who it's against. If you get pinned, your head will be shaved in the ring, and it's enough sand. Listen, Eddie Moore, you hold up. No, 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 no. Okay, let's take a break. No, no, no. Go ahead. Let's take a break. It's a double fresh taste for you. It's a double fresh breath for you. Know who? Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double, double, mm -hmm. double mint gum. Clean fresh taste for you. Clean fresh breath for you. Know who? That's the double freshness you get with double mint gum. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. At this very moment, you're being charged up to $10 more to play certain games on Super Nintendo.
than to play the same games on Sega Genesis. Games like Mortal Kombat and NBA Jam. Which is fine, really. If you don't mind being sucked dry. Hey kids, put on your hard hat and get ready for Real Life Giant Construction Equipment for Kids. The exciting new video that's fun filled with 25 monster machines. Join Hard Hat Harry on a magical adventure to actual construction sites. 30 thrill pack minutes of bruising bulldozers, colossal cranes, dirty dump trucks, and more. 25 big machines to watch over and over again. Asphalt eaters, pavers, rock crushers, all the heavy equipment kids love driving right into your living room. Real life giant construction equipment for kids is a rare chance to see huge excavators in action. Stone Mountain blown up by dynamite. Kids even climb into the driver's seat of the big machines they love. Your kids will ask for this video again and again for truckloads of non-stop entertainment. Real life giant construction equipment for kids makes a great gift for children aged 3 to 10. Call now to order on VHS for only $12.95. Then let the big fun begin. Well, I'll tell you what, lots of strange things going on around here, but the most interesting, I think, is uh, the fact that uh, Mr. Gilbert is going to have that uh, hair on the line for the next five you know, matches. And it's, hey. and it's Buddy Landell yeah. right here, too. Oh, yeah. You want to dunk? Scott Bowden. Uh, hey, Dave, I've been hearing you out here talking about I'm a changed man. I am a changed man. You guys are the ones that hadn't changed. Eddie Marlin's the guy that hadn't changed. Any whim that he gets, he stacks the deck against anybody he feels like it. He's playing God here in the USWA. Eddie Marlin, I got news for you, baby. We could take you out. And let me tell you something else. I had every intention of being Brian Christopher's partner, but I rode up and down the road. I rode up the road with him for one day and listened to the way that he whined and moaned and groaned and talking about being the big star here in the USWA. He made me sick to my stinking stomach. And if, did you hear him cussing me like a sailor? That's why I hit him with a chain. That's exactly why I hit him with the chain. I didn't hear it. No, of course he not. I, I think, like I tell you what, deck, baby. I think you guys had it all, uh, all set so that, yeah, well, I'll take care of Brian Christopher right there, for you. Dave Brown, that's a lie. We don't, you know, Buddy Landell and myself go way back, and we went out there, and I was ready to fight the man. Right. But he saw the light, brother, that's and right. we did what Brian Christopher needed to be done to it. And we're going to keep doing it. Eddie Marlin, Randy Hales, ain't nobody in this town that can stop us. Well, I don't know about that, but I tell you what, there's some folks who will try it. Dave Brown, let me ask these people right over here one thing. Who is the sexiest man in professional wrestling? Like they said, I am Dave Brown. But I got a couple things that's been bothering me just a little bit, you know. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. You got old senile Eddie Marlin out here saying, I'm going to get my pretty haircut? I think not. And then you have got the big stinking moon dogs that they're saying six man tag. I have my man Buddy Landell and I have my man Wildfire Tommy Rick right with me. But what they're saying, Dave Brown, is moon dog chair match. Whoever gets beat, I'm sure you know what a moon dog chair is, right? I sure do. Well, I sure know what it is. It's one of those big chairs that they bust you over your head with and blood flows. What I'm saying, Dave Brown, I don't like to get hit with chairs. And actually, if I'm scared, just, I mean, I, I'm never scared of nothing. But if something bothers me, it's getting my pretty face hit. It's getting Buddy Landell's face hit. And it's getting Tommy Rich's face hit with a moon dog chair. So what I'm saying, boys, we will not take 10 chairs across the head or across the back. Tommy, tell them We're what wrestlers, Dave Brown. It's a bunch of bulls what it is. We're here to wrestle. We're professionals. We do it right there in the middle. We never break no rules. Eddie Marlin's lost his dead gun by Let me tell you something, Eddie Marlin. If you want to take somebody home to meet Mama, you better take pretty blind Christopher. But if you want somebody's eyes and heads pulled off, you call Nature Boy Buddy Landell, brother. I've been around here for 15 or 16 years, brother, doing the meanest and the nastiest things I can, and I'm just not going to stop now, brother. 
I understand he's mad. He's a changed man. He's even sneakier than before, and we got him with us now, Dave Brown. What well, do you think about it? You him? know, and I think that's exactly, that sums the whole thing up. He didn't change. That's the point. He has the same old Buddy Landale. If anything, he is sneakier. And at least, Scott Bowden, you're right, at least we know where he stands now. He stands on the side, and even though Tommy Rich says they never, never break any right. rules, yeah, never break any rules, he says. They yeah, had well, that all planned. Uh, no that. doubt. I don't care what he says in that, all that hogwash he's talking about. And Doug Gilbert, he'll be thinking, remember, you lose the match, you lose your hair, too. Next five matches, that's all there is to that. Well, Lance Russell, you just remember one thing also. While I'm holding right here in front of you, not a lot of men have held. It is the USWA title, and I am the champion, so I want to be show some respect. Let's go to Corey. Thank you, Lance. This match is one fall, 10 minutes in time. First introducing, at a combined weight, 452 pounds from Nashville, Tennessee, Corey Williams. And his partner from Memphis, Tennessee, T.D. Seal. Their opponents at a combined weight, 498 pounds. First introducing from Atlanta, GA, Tommy Wildfire Rich. And his partner from Jacksonville, Florida, Nature Boy, Buddy Landell. One ball, 10 minutes in time. Kevin Christian is referee. Back to Lance Russell, Dave Brown. Yeah, Doug Gilbert's wandering around ringside out here, along with Scott Bowden, so that's something I don't like at all. That's essentially four against two, and these two guys, T.D. Steele and young Corey Williams in there, going against tough veterans. Buddy Landell, the nature boy, starting things out for his team. T.D. Steele, uh, he'll give him a battle, I guarantee you that. Got to tell you, Dave, give the devil he do is the old saying, and Tommy Rich and Buddy Landell both have such a background of going against the toughest guys that have been around the business the last 10, 12 years, and that you got to say. They have been in there. They're tough guys themselves. They can wrestle. The only thing is they don't have many scruples to follow up, and yeah, yeah. That is to say, they don't obey the rules, Doug. I didn't say they couldn't. I just got through telling you. We recognize the fact they both can wrestle. Big chop on TD. Catches him with a broad arm, rips him across the back. Foot to the midsection. And TD Steele trying to fight his way back. Buddy into a front face lock. Wrestling him around. All OTD's doing up there, Lance Russell's digging himself a grave. He's trying. That's what he's doing, at least. He's given everything he's got. Here comes Tommy Rich into it. Tommy Rich grabs TD. Oh! Goodness, TD tees him. There's a cover. Count of one. Oh, he picked him up. Picked him up. He could have probably gotten a three count there. He kicked out of that. Good All right, he did kick team. out. Tommy. Hard, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Tommy Rich picked him up. Yeah, I, yeah, what, what kind of sportsman? Good sportsman. Right, yeah. Oh, What's Doug, that? you're sitting here laughing and scratching. I just want to see your face as the matches go by and five matches. You lose one, you lose the hair. Now, see, Lance Russell, that is not fair because one out of those five matches, which I never get beat, but one match out of those five, Lance Russell, it could be a possibility. It could be an off day for me, and I could get me. Then what would happen? Me bald head, that wouldn't be good, Lance Russell. He got him. One, two, three, and Corey Williams. Well, what it like... looked like to me one of them boys was scared and the other was glad of it, Lance. I feel good today. Oh, yeah, you look looking good, Tommy. You are a couple of real beauties, real beauties, Dave. Well, there they go. They do have a victory in the match here today. Uh, fans are not on their side, and little little wonder, too. Corey Williams being helped out of the ring by T.D. Steele right now. T.D. and Corey, both uh, good, aggressive guys, and they're young and learning, but they're just not in the caliber of Landell and Rich, and they gave it what they had to give, but it wasn't enough as Landell and Rich uh, without. And that's the thing that irritates me. It's the thing that gets me about Sid Vicious. He comes out here, 
Here these guys are big, they're physically capable, they can wrestle, and uh, they won't follow the rules. No, Just sir, will not you do it. better believe it. Well, we mentioned bad news, and uh, I think this gives you an idea of what we're talking about right here. Brian Christopher, and we uh, had talked about the bad news, Brian, and this really makes me sick to see you come out with crutches and then be <laughs> injured like that right at the prime of your career. Well, Lance, it's not, it's not all that serious, so don't, <laughs> don't sound that uh, disappointed because, uh, as everybody knows, we had a big softball game last night down at Tim McCarver Stadium right here in Memphis, Tennessee, and it was a, uh, it was a wrestling soft brawl game, which was a game yeah. where you had to be you had to be thrown to the ground in order to be out. And, uh, you know, it's just like any sports injury. Uh, I was running to first base, and one of, the, one of the bad guys held me, and Tommy Rich came in from the side, and he, uh, I call it a cheap shot, but I'm not going to stand in here. And Criver spilt milk. He came in on the side of my knee, and uh, all the trainers there at the Tim McCarver Stadium said that I've, I've uh, torn the medial collateral ligament in my knee. And uh, right after that, I went and had x-rays done. But, hey, hey, hey. I don't, I don't want to hear all this awe uh, because, like everybody heard, Eddie Moreland came out here and said that Doug Gilbert is going to have to put his hair at stake for the next five matches. And believe me, believe me, nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than to be the one to cut Doug Gilbert's hair. So what I'm hoping is, I'm hoping this injury is not going to be a... a a very serious injury. I had, I had some x-rays taken last night, and I was going to explain to everybody uh, what the... Oh, God. Will you go? They're absolutely in court. I mean... Let me see these what x-rays. I'm a doctor, Les. Oh, yeah, you're a doctor. Oh, brother. Hey, hey, you look at me when I'm talking to you. Come on. Look, hey, you know what I'm saying, Les? I think these x-rays are phony. I think you're... Hey, hey, hey you come on, me. you guys. I think you're scared to death of me is what I think. You want to stand out here you know and talk is. like a man? Why don't you stand up like hey, a man? come on. Doug! Okay, Doug, all right, here comes the moon dog. Yeah, I'll bet you won. <laughs> Knocked him right down with a crutch and then beat on him with it. And there had to be four of them standing out here in order to do it. Boy, I'm telling you, Eddie. Can you believe that Doug Gilbert? Hey, you. you saw it. I mean, he comes out here, a guy on crutches. I see it. You might be right. I see it. Evidently, Doug Gilbert, you're hard of hearing. I, just a few minutes ago, I told you, you would not put your hands on any of the officials, and you would not carry on like that at our TV taping. Now, Doug Gilbert, you made your bed. Now you lay in it. You are fine. You are suspended. You are out of here. All you're right. no longer All the USWA. Right. Maybe that'll get his attention. Any match that he's in, scratch it, because he's not going to wrestle in the USWA. Thank you, Eddie Marlin. I got to tell you, it's that kind of action that's going to have to be taken in order to get these guys straightened around to where they think they can come out here and do anything, and they'll find out. It sure as Sam Hill is going to cost him when they do it, Dave. Cost him money, and he is out of here, which cost him more money because he's not going to be able to wrestle. All right, I tell you what let's do. Let's take a break, and we'll be back. white world so live in full color yeah man no reason to hide to come out from under what's big justified to be brave justified no reason to, to fear brave. no reason to fear express your big self as long as you're here oh yeah and let no man make you a skinny pig and no man will that you just stay you must big. stay big 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 how many combinations combinations in every bag skittles 
of Skittles bite-sized candy. Let's do this one bag at a time. Well, there's Stropper Berry. We got Lem Lamora. Or a grapeful. And berry lime. Berry lime. Look, this is how it works. OK. Well, Ooh. then there's Drop a Santa. Banana Melbourne. Drop a Nana. Pass a berry. Good. See, every Skittles combination is a new taste with a new name. Well, for example. Grapeful Sour Apple Cherry. And Lemon Melbourne Lime. Lemon Melbourne Lime. Lemon Melbourne Lime? So how many combinations are there? Hello. Find out for yourself. Taste the rainbow. Don't forget the wild Chirber Fruber. OK. Hello there, everybody. This is Mel Allen. I've got a special offer on out-of-print collector baseball cards. Now you can own 200 genuine collectible baseball cards for the unbelievable price of $9.95. It's collector's dream come true. Each set contains baseball cards going as far back as 1986 and including Tops, Don Russ, and Upper Deck that are no longer being printed. Over the years, the value of baseball cards has skyrocketed, and while no one can guarantee baseball cards will go up in value, we can guarantee each set will have star, superstar, rookie, and all-star cards. So take it from me, Mel Allen, at this price, these cards could be going, going, gone. 200 genuine collectible baseball cards, no duplicates, mint condition, only $9.95 each, plus $2.95 postage, limit of five per household. So get cracking. Call now to order. Oh, okay. Yeah. See Corey up there. He's Corey's ready. ready to go. We got a match We're set ready to go in the ring. <laughs> we are ready indeed. One fall, ten minutes in time for our next bout right here on USWA Championship Wrestling. Making their way to the ring area now. At a combined weight of 520 pounds, here is Spike Huber and his partner, the new Spellbinder. Their opponents at a combined weight of 395 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, Edric Hines and his partner from Nashville, Tennessee, Eddie Givens. One ball, 10 minutes in time. Back to Lanton Day. Okay, Eddie Givens, uh, Edric Hines in there to go against Spike Huber and the Spellbinder. Amazing recovery by Spike. Now he's ready to wrestle. When you're an athlete, Lance Russell, that's what happens. You recover like that. And don't you call him a liar. Right, Spike? Shut up. Oh, Papa Smoke. I have a feeling these guys are finished with. It was just like, that's the great thing about the Spellbinder. He's a magician. He can touch you, boom, and you're out of here for a long time. Yeah. Boy, he touches you, particularly when you're not looking. Right down on the ring and being pounded is Eddie Givens, the spellbinder, hammering away on him. All the physical abilities in the world you guys have all got, but why does there have to be three of you out here in a tag team? A three on one or two on one? Never have understood well, it. I'll tell you why it's like that, Lance. That's because we, that's, we want it like that. It's oh, more that fun it? like that. Oh, yeah. And you know there's some corny sayings around Memphis. I guess you could say, Mama says it bees like that sometimes. Yeah, or one of those sayings like, I don't want to hey, do hey, this. Hey. Up in the air, powerful. These guys right here are giving a lot better match. They're putting up a lot better for themselves than Lawler or Gaylord would. Oh, is that right? You know that's right, Lance. No, I don't. Glasses. What do you say about that, Dave Brown? I, <laughs> I say if, uh, if you believe that, you got a big surprise when you run into Lawler and Gaylord. Stood him on his that's head. That's beautiful, Spike. Pounded him down like into the line. Yeah, beautiful. And I know he didn't want to hurt him. He no, didn't he want to do that. He oh, doesn't oh, yeah. want to hurt him. Yes, I understand, Sid. In the air again as Edric Kynes is hammered back into those turnbuckles by Spike Huber. Goes over and knocks Eddie Gibbons right off the ring apron. For the second time while Gibbons is just standing there waiting for a tag. Uh, I tell you what I feel. I, I feel. Hey, drop him on his head and bring me one of them over here. Huber driving Hines down into the match. You are showing me a lot of negative stuff out here today. And Mr. Givens, I believe, is going to get a little taste of what it's going to be like. See, Lance? You are the type of person that makes it hard on me. You, Jeff Gaylord, Jerry Lawler. See, we don't, we don't enjoy this. We really don't. 
We'd like to come out here and grab an arm bar for 15 or 20 minutes, give you some exciting wrestling that you're asking for. Look, you got these two young guys to. down here on See, the floor. We're not able to. Hammer Stay down. down. Oh, man, look at this. Why don't you let him go, Sid? For crying out loud, they got him beat. And that's what it takes. Let's get him out of here. All right, come on, Sid. Come on, Kevin, help us get these guys. And now you come over here, put Edric Hines down after beating on them. Tell what you people in the USWA to realize something. You, Gaylord, you, Jeff Gaylord, see, winning, we don't take it that serious. When people lay at our feet lifeless like this, this is what we enjoy, my friends. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, he's suspending happy today. We don't take a chance, we might be suspending him. No, 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 no. Fight, fight, fight. Well, I'm Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, man. Get him out of here. We're out of here. Come on here. Beat around on those kids like that. Sure, they asked to wrestle. They got in there, took their chances on who they got. But they didn't bargain for anybody coming out here with a belt and beating them like they beat them. Boy, I tell you, you're sick. There's something wrong with you. I can tell you that. I want to apologize for this. Because we really didn't want to do this, oh, yeah, okay? Thanks, Sid. Why don't you just try it on another tune and tell somebody else? We'll take time out and be back here in a minute. Alternative math. One croissant sandwich plus one hash brown plus one coffee equals $1.99 every day. Add it to your morning at Burger King. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Is that a hit? You're at your mother's cousin's and feeling twice removed. Since Twix gives you chewy caramel twice, milk chocolate, twice and that cookie crunch twice you get one great snack after another alternative math what do one croissant sandwich one order of hash browns and one hot coffee add up to 199 at burger king just 199 every day we may not be the world's number one fast food place it just tastes that way Instantly remove tarnish and clean your precious jewelry, silverware, and gold. Quickly, effortlessly, and safely with the amazing product used by museums throughout the world. Their secret is the patented Quicksilver cleaning plate that lifts away tarnish and restores the luster to the surface. The Quicksilver electrolytic plate easily bathes away tarnish and deeply ingrained dirt from intricate pieces without rubbing, polishing, or chemical odors. Simply dissolve Quicksilver activator or washing soda in hot water. No, it's not ready yet, but watch this. Insert the Quicksilver electrolytic cleaning plate. Touch any heavily tarnished object to the plate, and in seconds, it's sparkling clean. And look, it cleans many objects at the same time. Quicksilver cleans and shines fine silverware, gold jewelry, gemstones, bronze, even copper and brass. Quicksilver is environmentally safe and lasts for years. The astonishing Quicksilver cleaning plate and activator is $19.95 plus $3.95 postage. Call now to order. To keep your jewelry and precious metalware tarnish free and sparkling, order Quicksilver now. Okay, we're ready to go with USWA Championship Wrestling Action. This is about one ball, ten minutes in time. First introducing 265 pounds, wrestling from Glen Allen, Virginia, Leon Downs. And his opponent, 235 pounds, from Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry, the King Lawler. 
One fall. Ten minutes in time. Kevin's referee back to Lance and Dean. Thank you, Mr. Corey. We're looking forward to this one. The King, who has been by necessity of his schedule absent from our USWA championship action here, back with us. And this young guy we've talked about over the last few weeks, this Leon Downs, has really been making a good showing. In yes, he has. Uh, the King, of course, comes in as a favorite uh, in most matches in which he is a participant. That's the, uh, that's the case here. But don't count Leon Downs uh, out of the action. This, uh, this guy can wrestle. He's tough. He, uh, he also will uh, ignore a rule or two along the way if it uh, benefits him. Of course, yeah. so will the King. <laughs> Yeah, I think the King has done that for a, a, a time or two in his his past career. Leon back up into the corner, and Lawler getting a little exasperated with his stalling tactics in there. Come out in the middle of the ring and wrestle. He finds it easier to talk to the crowd than yeah. he does get with the King. I understand that. I think he's hoping, hoping that some sort of opening will present itself to him so he can get an advantage on the King. Well, as you can see, that's not the case. Boom, up high in the air, and he hits hard on his back as Lawler dumped him over there out of the corner. Popped him into those turnbuckles and caught him with a backdrop coming out of it. We still have today, gee, I can't remember the last time that we, I'm sure sometime in the last 30 years we've had one, but I don't remember it. We've got an eight-man main event coming up today that's going to have PG-13, Coco Beware, and uh, All-American Doug Basham going against the new USWA tag champs, Mephisto and Dante, and the former champs, the Eliminators. That's going to be a formidable team right there. Boy, that's going to be a ring full of talent, let me tell you. I've been looking forward to it, and it's still coming up later on. Eight-man tag match, a very difficult match to keep up with, especially for a referee. Sometimes it's hard for our cameras to follow all the action, too, when you got lots of things going on. So stand by for that coming up later. Yes, in addition to that, Dave, we better check our insurance. The Moon Dog oh, will be here before the eight-man. <laughs> well, they already made one appearance today yeah. to help clear out the studio, and I noticed one of them had a big old, I don't know, what size board a two by 12 or two by 14 that he was carrying around with him but uh, that and the garbage cans and the chairs are usually not far behind when the moon dogs are around leon backed up into the turnbuckles again the king shoots a zippy right hand to the midsection and uh the referee giving him hard way to go about using the fist of the midsection and I don't think that's going to stop the King from getting done with what he has to get done. What's Leon doing back there, Dave? Oh, he's yelling at the crowd uh, again. He's, he's, he's like distracted. He, he better pay attention. That, uh, he's awful distracted. I wonder uh, if he's not doing that in order to uh, throw the guard down of the King. Look at him going yep, into his tight. i telling you, he's got something in his hand. And he probably, yep, foot to the midsection, right to the throat with whatever it was. He popped the king right in the throat and knocked him right off his feet. He definitely had yep. uh, something in his hand. Follows Lawler into the corner. Foot right to the kidney area. Rips Lawler with a right hand. Comes into the corner again, that foot as he digs away on the king scoops slam and down jerry lawler goes and leon's down goes up he heads to the ladder in the corner climbs up the turnbuckles and coming off takes it right in the midsection down comes the strap dave look out Lawler pops him with the right hand again over to the turnbuckles. He's up on the middle rope. Here he comes, and that's going to be history for Leon Downs, too. It's over. Bell time and King. When he got that strap down after busting him in the midsection, when Leon was flying off the turnbuckles, it didn't take long after that. That's it. The King wraps it up, one, two, three, right in the middle of the ring, and there he is victorious as he leaves.
That's not all for wrestling action here today. No, we'll take a break. Be back in a moment. Sesame. <laughs> hey, Joe, we're down to the last Butterfinger. Ah! The last, last Butterfinger! Simpson going deep. Get a crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery burst in every bite of Butterfinger. Nobody mm. better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. <laughs> this new album called 40 Summer Fun Hits. It's a fantastic four-record collection that's loaded with 40 summertime favorites. Undercover Angel, Midnight Fantasy. Oh, it's so nice to be with you. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am. Or two cassettes, only $19.95. Two compact discs, just $24.95. Here's how to order. To order, call 1 800 472 5888 or send $19.95 for records or cassette tapes or $24.95 for compact discs plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. That's 1 800 472 5888. USWA is not lacking for action, and they got oh, a match right. coming up in the very near future where the loser is going to have to get 10 licks with the Moondog chair. We both know the Moondogs know how to use a chair. Take a look at this. Whoa! That young guy, I tell you, they catch Sasser with that chair. These guys, I tell you, it's bad for them to come out here. Oh. Why don't you get them out of here? I'm telling you. Out of here. Frank Morell is trying. Oh, there they go with a desk, carrying the desk up hey, and picking up. They knocked P.D. down. Did they? Yeah, yeah, they knocked oh, oh, actually, yeah, yeah. The Moondogs continue to run wild. Richard Lee with a folding metal chair himself collecting the world championship belt. Oh, oh my goodness. These guys, tough to control except by Richard Lee. He's the only one that can call him off. Richard, why don't you take these guys out of here? Our bell is throwing pieces over there too, Dave. Yep. Good Lord, they've got him beat so bad in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, I tell you. Richard, why don't you take your oh, guys out of here? Man. Look at that guy's it's back. Continue. Oh, I tell you. The beat up. All right, I tell you what, you get the idea there with that chair, no doubt about it. I hope some other guys get the idea, too, talking about Tommy Rich and Buddy Landell. Here they come, and Doug Gilbert, you're not... No, no, hey. No. You're not even supposed to be here. You're suspended. I'm not suspended. I can't be and I cannot be first. We're not going to be hit with chairs like that. That is unhumane. That is no so good. You don't have to worry about them chairs. Get out of this studio. You've been fired. What do you mean? Hey, Dave Brown, they better not even think about getting a hold of me because I'm not getting a whipping like that. No I'd, way. I'd like to see that old man push me around like that. See how he stacks the decks? I come here a changed man, and you stack the decks at him, Marlon, any way that you see fit. When are you going to stop being God around here, huh? Hey, he's the promoter. Dog. Hey, I ain't going to get hit by no chair. Me and Tommy's too pretty to get this hit by no chair. This is an outrage, man. This is called wrestling. It can't. You see some of them guys in Moon Dogs beat up? I mean, I ain't scared of nothing, but I ain't going to get hit with no chair. Well, if you lose the match, you will. That's the no, stipulation. I ain't going to get hit with no chair, Dave Brown. Oh, because we can pay somebody off. Uh, well, I got a phone call, Dave Brown. Uh, here come the Moon Dogs right here, and all of a sudden, there go Buddy Landell and Tommy Rich and Scott Bowden. 
Meanwhile, Shadow number one and number two waiting in the ring. Corey was in there waiting for the introductions, but the Moon Dogs come in and get things going on their own. Moon Dogs are disqualified for bringing foreign objects in, so they're going to lose the match. Uh, there's that chair across the back. That's what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, boy. Shadow number one now being rolled out of the ring by one of the moon dogs. So they got both of them down here on the floor. The match never really got underway as the moon dogs came in with a chair in hand. Mm. Look out, Dave. Yeah, watch it, watch it, watch it. Moon dog spot with that wow. chair again running away. Now you get kind of an idea as to why. This is, this is exactly the reason why Rich and Landell don't want any part of it just in the event that they lost it all. Boy, let's uh, take a break here. Hey, see if we can get these guys calmed down. your next pimple most likely to be all over your face because that's where acne bacteria are all over your face which is why you need new oxy sensitive to kill acne bacteria with virtually no drying no irritation guarantee so you can use it every day to help eliminate pimples prevent unborn pimples all over your face curb your pimples need to breed oxycutum in advance with new oxy sensitive exert control over something does the way I look make people stare? I don't know. I, I don't even really care. Why walk when you can't run? Why talk when you can sing? Show this world who you are. And you can do anything. So I stand when you can't dance. The way you do is up to you. So don't leave it up to chance. Much big. You got something to say? Don't whisper. Tell your brother and your sister. My perfect 80s album, it's got to make me dance. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your it's got to rock. It's here, it's awesome 80s, 40 big hits, featuring the Go-Go's. Queen. Awesome 80s has David Bowie. Paul and Oates. The cars. Spread the word. The 80s are back. Order Awesome 80s. Two CDs, $26.99. Two long play cassettes, $19.99. Rush delivery available. Do it now. Well, Reggie B. Fine got to be a little tired from carrying around a couple of hubcaps all week that he lifted out of the corner of PG-13. Hey, man, he fit my Cadillac, baby. Look, I'm sitting on top of the world, Dave, bro. I got hubcap. I got the world, Dog Team Chubby. I got the Eliminator. But you know what? Only thing that I ain't got, I kind of feel bad about. I had $2,500 last week. I went down to the casino and ran into a... A little bad luck, you understand? I was down there pulling them slot machines and playing poker. Before I know it, I don't have a $250 left. But well, that's all right, though. I'm going to take this $250 a little later on as I leave him and go down there and fill this up to $25 soon I leave him. I know, my luck will change. My luck will change. $25 million. 25, $26 million, then. My luck will change. Go up. Coco, oh boy, he hot, they hot as I heard that in the I was in the back, I heard them back there crying about, I done stole this, I done stole that, I done took this, I done took that. I ain't never took nothing but a bath, bro. That's all I ever took. Now right now, well, where'd the cop caps the come from? The man in the world, the nominators, and my man, the tag team champion, we've been to hurt these punks 
real, real bad, brother. And I ain't responsible for nothing that happened. Yeah, not responsible at all. Yeah, hang on to that money and good luck on working on the $25 million, Reggie oh, B. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, uh huh. Well, he does have the uh, World Tag Team Champions, uh, Great Mephisto and Donnie, who are climbing up on the ring apron right now, and former tag champions, the Eliminators. This eight-man match is coming up. Also former tag champions, PG-13, climbing up on the ring apron right now. Let's go for the official introductions. Here's Corey Macklin. Thank you, Brother Dave. We're ready to go with the main event here on USWA Championship Wrestling. Here today, first introducing Anna Kamal Waite, 997 pounds and on one side of the ring the great Mephisto and Dante and their partners Saturn and Cronus the Eliminators with Reggie B. Fine in their corner their opponents a combined weight of 842 pounds from Louisville Kentucky the All-American Doug Bachon from the hood PG-13 and their partner from the great state of Tennessee the Birdman Coco Beware this is the main event on the USWA back to Lance Russell Dave Brown okay Corey looking forward to this eight man it's going to be uh, maybe even more than that day yeah that's right uh, Reggie B fine though uh, has has suddenly left the area I don't know for how long, but uh, Coco Beware spotted him, and Reggie decided, hey, maybe get an early start on a $25 million he's working on. <laughs> okay, Mephisto he's starting out. He's sneaking yeah, back in. Sneaking back in here. He let Coco catch a hold of him, and uh, he'll know about sneaking. Doug Basham and Mephisto, there's a tag on JCI. Going to be this kind of action, I think, throughout this entire match, Dave. We're going to have a lot of tagging in and out. Keep everybody free. That's a good, a good way to do it. If you got four men in your corner, it might no point keeping one out there all the time. What, Reggie? You want to borrow some money, man? I did, no, I don't need to borrow any money. Thank you. Hey, no. No, thank you. A thousand people, a thousand. Let, wait, let me get this right. You started with 2,500. Now you're down to 250, and and, and you want you yeah, a little streak of bad luck. I don't think I'll be investing in that, Reggie. Sorry. Dante takes it. Hey, Reggie, with that kind of track record, I don't need you as my financial advisor. I can tell you for a fact. A thousand dollars. Oh man, what? Well, yeah, what, what a guy. And he generous soul. Dante taking a shot from Wolfie D. He dishes it back and makes a tag on Saturn. Saturn rushing into the corner to Wolfie. Whip across the ring. He's out of there. Wolfie sidestep, came back, took that arm and dragged him over and down. Makes a tag back on All-American Doug Basham. I love it. They're in and out of there like this. Uh, yeah. Doug, oh, Doug Basham, he got, he got hit in the eye, I think. He was hogging on to that left eye. Oh, oh, my goodness. Boy, these eliminators, they are some kind of athletes, I want to tell you. As you said earlier in the match, you got to give the devil their due, and that's, uh, that's the case with these guys. Not that they were always bubbling over with personality, but since they were unable to defeat PG-13, they have really been in a sour mood, and... It hasn't changed one bit. Sunset flip coming over. Basham going for it. Oh, Coco's got a hold of Reggie. He's got him in the ring. Yes, he does. we got a whole ring full of people. I think it's a good idea myself, Mr. Referee. Ring that bell. We'll have to check our time. Wham, wham. Look at those hubcaps. PG-13 got it back. And they are grabbing for it. We gotta go. Be back in a minute. Look at this face. I mean, I'm just a harmless, lovable little fuzzball. So why is the media calling me the most dangerous man in America? Because I speak the truth. Hi, this is Rush Limbaugh with Talent on Loan from God to tell you where you can read the truth each month and every month. Here in the Limbaugh Letter. My newsletter is among the fastest growing in America. A lot of people don't like that. The Limbaugh Letter is an arsenal of the facts, opinions, insights, and analysis the liberal media doesn't give you and doesn't want you to have. In the Limbaugh Letter, we dissect today's events and issues in depth, giving you a perspective which uniquely supplements and complements my wildly popular TV and radio shows. 
Even my two number one best-selling books can't keep you on top of breaking issues like the Limbaugh letter can and does. I'll show you why federal health care won't work, how America maintains its competitive edge, and outline how to stem the tide of liberal-induced societal decay. Also, in each issue, you will read my conversations with the nation's top conservative thinkers and achievers. They expose the real stories and agendas behind Hollywood, tax reform, radical feminism, and health care. The Limbaugh letter gives you and your friends the most dangerous weapon to combat liberalism, the truth. Go ahead, show it to a liberal. Watch them squirm and then watch them learn. Call this toll-free number to subscribe now for yourself or as an ideal gift and receive 12 monthly issues a full year of the Limbaugh letter for just $29.95. And when you call to order, you'll receive three valuable gifts. Promises, Promises, Russia's list of Clinton's campaign pledges, plus Russia's 35 undeniable truths of life suitable for framing, and Russia's colorful 1994 poster calendar, all free with your paid subscription to the Limbaugh Letter. Call the toll-free number and order the Limbaugh Letter now. Some people say that I need to be balanced with equal time. It's not so. I am equal time. Well, we had a uh, rather abrupt ending to fall number one, so... Had to stop that son of a yeah. gun. Well, we got fall again. number two coming right <laughs> up there. We're ready for it, bell time, and here we go. It's uh, Mephisto starting out against JCI. Seems to me that's the way we started the first fall, too, Dave. I, I hope that we don't... Well, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed all of that, didn't I? I kind of did, too. I don't know if, uh, if the fans were able to see or not, but uh, not only did PG-13 get their hubcaps back, but that $250 that Reggie B. Fine was flashing over here, that's only 10% of what he owes Coco B. Ware, but Coco got that money back. Too. He got the down payment. He'll get the rest out of his eye. <laughs> Somehow I got a feeling he may get more than his eye, too. Coming in, Cronus of the Eliminators. Set it up in case you got in here late. Where were you? Should have been here early. We have had a great show, except for Brian Christopher, who got his knee messed up in a charity softball game courtesy of uh, some of the other guys. Uh, they came out here, Doug Gilbert jumped on him. Uh, out here on the crutches, Gilbert and uh, Landell, I mean, Rich and Landell joined him. It ended up with Eddie Marlin suspending Doug Gilbert from the action. That's just part of what we've had out here today. J.C. Ice in with Kronos as the referee trying to keep this one in control. He didn't have much luck luck in the first ball but he's looking a little bit better here as jc spins on the leg with cronus down on the deck cronus gonna have to figure a way to get out of this hole get on his feet and get a tag that's the best thing to do jc ice gets over to the corner and as uh, you mentioned lance in the first ball lots of tagging in and out that's the way to do it in a match like this and that's what pg-13 just did wolfie d goes to work he spins around on that leg lock boy that's gotta hurt He's really got some pressure on there. As, as you know, Dave, because you've heard me talk about it over the last good many years, the one that hurts me more than anything just sitting watching is when they go with that outside toe hole when they're taking that toe out. Yeah. And I'm thinking of the pressure on the knee. Whoa. This is no walk in the park here that Wolfie is putting on Cronus as he grabs that leg, kicks the other one out from under. Here comes... Coco, beware, the Birdman. Picking Cronus up, backs him into the corner. Big whip. Misses. Ooh, he hit that top turnbuckle hard. He sure did. He really thought he had Cronus set up yes. in that corner, but he was gone Saturday and after the tag, and he pounded away on Coco, beware. Saturn got the tag from Cronus, and he really is unloading on Coco. And Coco Beware, a tough son of a gun, caught belly to belly, took him around, slammed him into that back. And now with a broad arm is pounding on the back. And here comes Reggie B. Fine. That'll stir Coco up. Uh, Reggie? Now look, I just got through talking to the police. I just filled out the report. I told them that the boy stole my money, and they're going to arrest him soon as he got his name. Yeah, you told them you lost, what, $25 million there or something, huh? Reggie B. Fine. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, maybe they'll talk to us and we'll explain about uh, that situation with the bird and the 2500 a few weeks ago, huh? 
Dante tagging out to Saturn again, and he's back in with Coco. Coco escapes, makes it out of the corner as Saturn hits the turnbuckle, and Coco unable to get to the corner for the tag. And we're in the second fall. Nice block by Coco on Saturn again. Second fall of this eight-man tag action match, and all outstanding competitors. PG-13, Doug Bash of the All-American, and Coco Beware against Mephisto and Donnie, the current USWA tag champ, and the Eliminators. And there's the tag on Dante. Uh-oh, fill it up again, Dave. Everybody in here, you got all eight of them going at it, and the referee standing back in the corner going, how do I get control of this now? Every corner's full of wrestlers. The referee doing about the only thing he can do, and that's like we are watching the action because there's no way he's going to be able to break it all up. They've got him in. Coco beware with Dante. Hold the ball. Each one from the corner. They converged in the middle with a resounding thunk, and down to the floor they go. Oh, time yeah, out. Time out, says Reggie. Yeah. There's no time out, Reggie. There's no crying in baseball, and there's no timeouts in wrestling matches. Send them back in there, and the referee's going to count them out. <laughs> you need three timeouts. Uh, here we go again. we got a ring full of folks. There's a hubcap coming into play. J.C. Ice pounding Mephisto with it. And the referee has called for the bell. I think I think he's just had to stop it again because we did uh, couldn't keep just two people in there. That okay. Uh -oh. Well, PG has been disqualified because they used the hubcap, and they just disqualified him. They just they they just disqualified him for using the hubcaps. As uh, down on the floor, well, I tell you, oh, look out! Wolfie D comes flying off that top turnbuckle. I'm not sure that was a very good move. Start everybody on the floor, and they're going again here. Ah, uh, watch it. Mm. Oh, boom, Whoopie D uh, has collected one of the hubcaps, and he has just smacked both the eliminators with a hubcap, and that has staggered them, at least slowed them down. Coco trying to take the mask off of Dante over here. He. He grabs the mask, and now, finally, everybody on that team seems to be leaving. He wants his, oh, he wants his belt back. I didn't hear what he said. He wants the, he wants the uh, tag championships back. PG-13, J.C. Ice, and Wolfie D, the former champions, rematch coming up. It's an exciting match to watch, and it's one of those, uh, the referee did the right thing. I mean, he pulled in the foreign object, and popped him on top of the head with it, and the referee, uh, given uh, the authority to do so several weeks ago by Eddie Marlin right here, uh, was watching. He saw what happened immediately disqualified. We're going to tell you, I have to leave for Corey and Michael and Dave Brown. Lance Ross is saying, it's been fun. See you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.